What's up everybody, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and today I've got a quick cool video for you in Marvel Snap on my favourite combos in the entire game. Now quick disclaimer, most of these aren't viable in the meta, like if you're looking to climb up to infinite most of these won't work. Some of them do and I'll let you know which ones do. Uh, these are just fun combos that once I get to infinite I like to mess around with some decks and have some fun because most of the competitive decks are quite straightforward. So let's get into this one real quick then, so we'll go first up, Hood is one of my favourite cards in the game. On reveal, add a demon to your hand. The demon is a one for six, so really good card. And he works especially good with Viper. This is a combo I used probably for the first two, maybe three seasons. Viper, on reveal, your opponent gains control of one of your other cards at this location. So you're getting your one for six drop with the demon, and then you are giving hood to your opponent, which is not its not huge, but I think people undervalue what it's, the actual value of taking up one of your opponent's slots. You know, if they've got a specific combo that needs to be on one location, that kind of stuff can really mess them up. So that's probably my favorite, the one I've used the most frequently. It does work, you know, it is a competitive combo, but Viper herself at a two for three, not massive value, so you might not use too much of that. Next up, we have Zero, who is up there with one of my favorite cards as well. He has an on reveal, remove the abilities on the next card you play. So most of the time it's quite negative. You want most of your cards to go to have their effects, but the Red Skull is awesome. Enemy cards at this location have two plus power. That's why it's five for 15. But if you take that away, you're just getting a straight up five for 15 drop, which is one of the strongest cards in the game. It's awesome. Uh, it's worth noting with zero, the effect doesn't take effect until the card is played. So you can't use zero and then drop Giganto in any other lane, for example. It only happens when the card is played. Um, Black Widow, who is another card, she's quite meta at the minute, um, alongside the combo card that I'm going to be talking about here, which is Beast. So Black Widow puts a Widow's Bite into your opponent's hand. When this is in their hand, they cannot draw cards. So it's quite powerful, although Black Widow's 2 for 1 itself is quite she's quite weak. If you couple this up with Beast, on reveal, return your other cards at this location to your hand. They cost 1 less. You pick up Black Widow, she only costs 1, you drop her again. That combo works really well with Wave. Um, obviously, it's quite difficult. You only really get this in a locked jaw deck. Wave on reveal next turn, cause next turn cards in your both players' hands cost four, so they can't get rid of the Widow's Bite unless they use their entire turn to get rid of it. Now, that's mostly works in locked jaw, and you need a bit of help there. So you drop locked jaw, drop Black Widow, and then go into Wave. Very slim chance, but it's fun when it kicks off. Uh, next one here. Oh, this is probably actually the one I've used the most. I probably uh, yeah, I forgot about this one. So this is Storm. Flood this location. The following turn is the last turn cards can be played there. After that, nothing can be played there. Stuff can still be added. Tokens like Squirrel Girl, Doctor Doom, that kind of stuff can still be added. It doesn't win you the lane, but a big help to that is Juggernaut. Now, this is probably, at the moment, definitely my favorite card. It's my only inked card, which is great. But on review, if your opponent played cards here this turn, move them randomly. So Storm throws down the Flooded, and then next turn, anything they play gets knocked away with Juggernaut, which usually gives you a five-point win on the lane. I really love that combo. It's one of my favorites. And then last but not least, we have Kingpin and Arrow. This is the one you saw at the start. Um, it's a wicked combo. It's so much fun, but it's just it's so unviable, unfortunately, in competitive. So when a card moves here on turn six, destroy it. Whenever you drop this, they're just going to place their cards there turn six. So with the right field, it can work, but it's so unreliable. And then arrow on reveal, move all enemy cards played to this location this turn. So you put Kingpin down, ideally turn five in a relatively empty lane, or maybe a lane that you're winning so they can't win it. And then you drop arrow the next turn to bring her from there and destroys it. So again, not overly competitive, but fun nonetheless. If you guys have got any fun combos, let me know. This is by far not all of them. There are so many awesome combos in this game. These are just my favorite at the moment. Now, I'll get some more videos out to you guys soon. Hope you enjoy Marvel Snap, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.